to the AFC Championship game. And this year, we have the Colts heading over to New England Gillette Stadium to play the Patriots. Uh, this is an interesting one, because this is not an unfamiliar set of teams to meet up in the AFC Championship game, and half of it's pretty much the same as it's usually been the past 10 years. Brady and Belichick. Hmm. The other half is a little bit different, because we have Andrew Luck coming into town. Um, he's replacing, of course, we all know this, he replaced Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning left, went on to greener, eh, maybe not greener pastures, but went on to other pastures in Denver, and now Andrew Luck has taken this team and driven them through the playoffs so far, and they are showing up in New England. Um, yeah, that's so, a franchise that's done a really good job with yeah. with quarterbacks. So, yeah. well, I mean, <laughs> last two in a row. Anyway. Those are the two franchises I kind of hate the most, almost. I, and I don't hate them because I still root for them, because I still like the Colts actually. But I, I almost envy them the most. Think about the Green Bay Packers. They had Brett Favre from like 1996 till 2008, Hall of Fame, great, amazing quarterback. Now they have Aaron Rodgers. If it keeps going the way he's going, Hall of Fame, great, amazing quarterback. And um, the the Colts had Peyton Manning from 1998 till what, 2012, Hall of Fame, great, amazing quarterback. And now they have Andrew Luck. Keeps going on the trajectory he's going. Hall of Fame, great, amazing quarterback. It's not fair that you have back-to-back Hall of Famers. It's just not fair, and the Redskins can't ever get one. Never. Yeah. Okay. Even we trade everything up around and do crazy <laughs> stuff to get our never never can't even get better one. if we did it like just you know work our quarterback to 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 injury yeah. but yeah. well yeah. i shouldn't have gone season. down that road but i had to but so let's get back to the colts versus the patriots now luck versus the patriots he's played them i believe three times the average margin of victory for the patriots is 48 to 22 in those matchups so if history's <laughs> any indication Luck does not do very well against the Patriots, no matter when they're played. So that's that's one thing. Brady is actually 60-7 in seven in his past 67 home games. So, yeah, Brady doesn't lose very much at home. Uh, but there are some bright sides. Right now, Vontae Davis is playing like, if not the best, the second best cornerback in the league right now. I'll give Richard Sherman number one because he's done it for longer. But Vontae Davis this year has played spectacular. So if Vontae Davis can have a great game that puts a lot less pressure on the rest of the secondary, they can play a little bit better. And if you can shut down some of those wide receivers, you're you're doing pretty well because Brady likes to spread it around to everybody. You never know who's going to get the ball. Is it going to be Amendola? Is it going to be Edelman? Um, Is it going to be LaFell? So those receivers little bit you know more mixed now there's one guy that they will get it to and they will get it to hard and heavy and all day long and that is Gronkowski I don't know if the the Colts have an answer for Gronkowski I mean this six foot seven 250 pound wrecking ball the, the the barbarian that runs down the field with the football every I don't know how that guy does it um, but that's going to be a really interesting matchup is how are they going to guard Gronkowski because that in my mind is the most pivotal part of this whole game they can figure out some way to shut down Gronkowski without using Vontae Davis. They can leave him to cover their wide receivers out there and let the secondary do their thing with that. I mean, maybe bring a safety up to play him. I don't, I don't know if they can do that. But if they can shut down Gronk, I think they can win. Because the Patriots really don't have much of a run game this year. Uh, with Julian Gray, he had a breakout game. I don't think he's going to again. They got LeGarrette Blount. Um, but I don't, I don't really see him doing much either. Because this front seven of the Colts isn't bad. So it, that's going to be my key to the game is what's going to happen there. Uh, yeah, and, you know, Luck has shown to be clutch. He can bring the team back. Patriots defense is good, but they're not that scary. You can still move the ball on them. So that's, again, my key matchup of the game is Gronkowski against whoever they want to put up against them. Because if they put somebody good there, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting. But my prediction for this game and this is just going to show you how much of a toss-up I think this one is, is I'm going to give the Patriots the win 31-30 over the Colts. What's your mm-hmm. prediction, Brennan? I just, I, I hate the Patriots so much. So go ahead and um, pick against them. Pick against them. The, you don't have to pick. Just gut feeling right now. Go! All right. I'm, I'm, going, with, I'm going with the Colts because I just... I just hope it's the Colts. Right. <laughs> I, okay. I just hope it's the Colts, and I'm 
I'm going to go with 35, uh, 35, 30. 35-30, all right. So we both have somebody scoring 30 points. We're both teams over 30 points. But hit us up, let us know, give us a score, and who you think is going to win. Comments down below, of course, at What's My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. Uh-huh.